Hello everybody, uh, this is an exciting discovery and it's a vindication of what we've been saying for a long time. Uh, there, there's been a discovery about a month ago, a paper has been published which the establishment is actually rejecting and they're saying it, it's, uh, it's not good enough. What they've found is a bone quarry of mastodon bones embedded in stone, in silt stone. And they say it's 130,000, 140,000 years old. And the publishers of the article say only humans could have done it because the stones, uh, sorry, the bones bear the marks of tools. They've been, they've been smashed up deliberately. A tooth has been found, which has been shattered. They say there were no animals that could have done this. They say also, uh, well, they also say there were no tools found. And this is what the skeptics are pointing to, and also that there were no human bones found. But on the other side of the coin, they say that there were no other hominids around that could have done this. So, what's going on? It, it's bizarre, and, and who, who's done this? No, and no one knows. They, they haven't found any bones. And so the skeptics are saying, look, the bones could have been brought there by, by ice, by anything, uh, by water. And as for why they were smashed, we don't know, but we think there's not enough evidence to suggest that there were humans around in America over 100,000 years before we say they are. Because for some reason, uh, the, the establishment has got it in their heads that on, humans can only get to America due to the land bridge. And this is because of early 20th century thinking that, um, that sailing is a very difficult thing to do. Okay. And that they point to the land bridge, they say, look, the ice has to melt. Um, and then there's, a, then there's a land bridge. Uh, yeah, I don't really buy that argument, because we, we actually don't really know where the ice was and all this was, to be honest. It's, uh, it's, and it's a very old argument. It's, it's much older than, than all the surveys of where the ice was, etc., etc. I think humans got there uh, before the, uh, in, in the last warm period, you know, 120,000 years ago, or much earlier, and humans have been around for hundreds of thousands of years. We've, we've proved that in the last couple of videos. So, what on earth are they going on about? It's crazy. Anyway, it seems that this is a bizarre discovery. It does point to, to humans actively hunting in the Americas. Now, this smashes the argument that as soon as humans got there, they caused all the animals to go extinct. It shows that humans were able to live with these animals for over 100,000 years ago and not cause them to go extinct. It defies everything we know. One of the arguments that, that, that is actually against this is that, quote-unquote, we know humans only left Africa 120,000 years ago, therefore this is inadmissible, quote-unquote. Well, of course, from the last video, we see that we don't know that. That's not true at all. That's absolutely fake. And everything they've been using to, to argue against this is wrong. Now, there was a, an American who has been excavating 100,000-year-old Cro-Magnon tools in America for the past 40 years or 50 years. He's an anthropologist with a PhD. His name is Jeffrey Goodman, and he wrote this book, American Genesis. He says uh, Cro-Magnons came out of America. And he, he, what he used to do, he used to get psychics to tell him where to dig. And the psychics went with him to different sites and they said, dig here. This is where they were. This is where you'll find them. And they started digging down. And they went through layer after layer. They found tools. Okay, at, at clover sites. He even dug up clover sites and he found tools and he went lower and lower. And, he just, and the psychic said, keep digging. So he kept digging. He went down 30,000 years, found, found humans. The experts said no. He went down 50,000 years, found humans. The experts said, no, no, no. He went down 60,000, 70,000 years, still found stone tools. The experts said, no, 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 no. Pseudoscience, quackery, it's wrong, it's a mistake. He went down to geological layers from over 100,000 years ago and still found tools. And he's been rubbished. If you read the Wikipedia article, it's... Just a bunch of nonsense, really. It's saying that um, some scientists, uh, some archaeologists have dismissed his ideas as being in the realm of pseudoscience. And the reason, one of the reasons for that is he, he used psychics. Well, you know, most of the world believes uh, that the brain has enormous powers. Um, so, uh, 
yeah, if, I, I don't have a problem with uh, with with people using psychic powers. I think it's fine. Uh, it, it's just intuition. Uh, the skeptics just have another word for it anyway, and they probably follow it every day of their lives anyway. So, uh, you know, this is just this is just. Um, uh, there's just a huge beat up and it says that uh, he's up with the likes of Velikovsky look at this, he goes on um, it's like some reviewer mentions he, he's associated with the likes of Von Daniken, Velikovsky uh, he's created work that seems to have sound up to date wide ranging references to support his claims uh, unlike the former three and that's true uh, and this guy actually supports him by the way uh, Cole states that Goodman's references are selective uh, misused or misunderstood. It's true. He, this guy, I reckon this guy's a genius. If you get uh, his book, uh, get Psychic Archaeology. I think it's much better than American Genesis because it's more fun. And he, he talks about not only his own excavations, but the, the, the psychic excavations of others, especially uh, the excavations at Glastonbury, which were done by, um, by, by a psychic. And they shut him down because when he started saying that, that a psychic... Uh, when, he, when he started saying he was communicating with a medieval monk who pointed to his discoveries. Okay, guys, thank you very much.